Hi everybody, I'm Rudy with HPB Pro Sales Group. I'm here today to talk with you about the new reporting app that Backrack has for their combustion analyzers. Instead of these things anymore, <laughs> it's time for thermal paper to get on down the road. Uh, the disadvantages of thermal paper are now you got all these little pieces of paper you're having to chase around. Um, the other disadvantage is that after Oh, two or three years typically, particularly in a hot, uh, humid boiler room, uh, the print on the paper disappears, uh, providing very little documentation. Um, and uh, this is not thermal paper you're likely going to be able to find at your local uh, uh, um, office supply house. Um, Backrack's come up with a reporting app that I think is a really nice uh, deal. And this works both with the um, Insight Plus and also the Intech. Now it has to be the Insight Plus. If you'll notice here, um, it says Insight Plus right at the bottom. Um, if it's the original Insight, uh, that will not work. Um, the, one of the biggest advances of combustion analyzers by my way of thinking is that uh, these, both of these instruments have uh, USB ports located in the bottom. Uh, the old, let's say for example, the Insight, when it first came out, it had an EEPROM in it that stored the memory. And once you burned the, once you flashed the uh, memory to that EEPROM, it was there. It couldn't be changed. Now these instruments have more like a thumb drive in them. And what that means is that as Backrack makes changes to the software uh, or to the firmware, uh, you can just uh, uh, go through the uh, FireRight user software, go on Backrack's website, download a K PKG file uh, that has the latest uh, version of the firmware on it. Um, and it'll be real easy to maintain the instrument yourself. Um, so let me um, get something together here and we'll uh, run through how this reporting app works. So here are the two apps. Now this one on the right hand side with the uh, blue B, um, that was the original app. If you still have that on your phone, what happened was a couple of years ago, iOS uh, changed the operating system, updated the operating system and it would no longer work. Uh, for some reason or other, the latest update uh, started working again. So if you've got that one, um, it's uh, pretty easy to, to walk through to operate. Uh, the one I want to talk about today, though, is the one over here with the uh, orange background and the ring around the, the white B. Now, this is only good for the uh, Insight Plus and the uh, Intec. The PCA 400 uses a uh, Bluetooth signal to met to um, uh, to do the reporting, um, and it's a completely different procedure, so we'll run through that at another time. I just wanted to cover this one. And one of the things I've found is that, um, uh, it, to, to me, it's probably the neatest feature to this instrument, or to this line of instruments, uh, but very few people are aware that it does this, and Backrex, uh, you know, tried to, they've done all sorts of things to try to get the word out, but uh, um, it, to me, it just makes so much more sense than, uh, than dealing with the thermal paper. Um, so in any case, this is how the the, uh, the new app works. We're going to open it up and you'll see these tiles. Um, we're going to start over here with the operator setup. Um, that's going to be the, uh, the mechanic or the technician. And what you would do is you'd go in, click new, uh, type in the, uh, the um, uh, name of the company or the name of the technician, the address, uh, whatever information is, uh, is you want to include on that PDF file. The other nice thing the really nice thing is that you can actually come in and put your company's logo. Now it has to be between 150 by 150 pec pixels um, and as large as uh, 500 by 500 pixels. Uh, but find a, find a copy of your logo in there and that way you can even import your logo up to the top of that page, uh, to the top of that PDF file. Okay, then that's pretty much the operator setup, pretty, pretty straightforward. Then the facility setup, this is um, where this is your customer. Uh, what you would do is uh, click create, uh, tap on there, type in the uh, customer's uh, name. And a really cool feature here is to, uh, for, the, um, uh, for the address, you just tap on that button. It geolocates to your present position and you're good to go. Before we can let enter in the equipment list, now we have to come down here, click save to save the customer. And let's see, where are we here? Right here. Okay. Um, then the equipment list, we'll tap on that. Hit create. And a, uh, um, 
uh, box comes up with uh, the equipment, you know, the name of the equipment, and all we have to do is enter in a quick little name here, um, and then you can put what you know, boiler, forced air unit, air handler, whatever, uh, the location, and if there's some sort of an identifying permit number or a unit number, uh, we would enter in that. Click save. We've got all that information um, entered in. Now we're going to go back to the um, uh, front tiles and remember this view reports we're going to get to that here in a little bit uh, right now I just want to go right to the QR code scanner so let me bring the instrument over what you will do with the instrument is you will bring up the test results that you want to uh, document you hit the run hold button uh, uh, now here I brought this from memory so the pump isn't running but if uh, I was doing a combustion test I'd hit the run hold button to, to lock in the test results and to stop the pump and then what I will do is hit the scroll right button. A QR code comes up in the display. Then what I'll do is I'll open up the uh, QR code scanner in the app. And watch this. This is pretty amazing. I mean, boom. <laughs> there are your test results. I mean, it's right now. Um, and from here, this is real important. From here, what you would need to do is tap on the little comments box here and then type in i think that had a 500 and some odd degree stack temperature so that was probably an older piece of equipment uh, so we're going to type in the uh, old um, um, uh, boiler and hit done and hit ok then we're going to save that set of test results um, either that, yeah, we're going to save that set of test results to the memory, uh, memory, so the record saved. And then if we just wanted to generate a report right now after we had finished doing the uh, test, what I would do is hit this PDF button and you'll see the report comes up. Uh, we'd hit this and we're ready to email out that test result to the facilities manager or the homeowner or whoever. Now, let's say that uh, we were uh, wanting to document the increase in efficiency from replacing, say, an old atmospheric boiler uh, with a new condensing piece of equipment. Uh, what we would do is come back to the main tile screen. We'd hit View Records. Okay. And then what we would do is we would come down to the, these are all uh, date and time stamped. Uh, what we would want to do, um, this, uh, the, the uh, Insight Plus has 100 sets of memory locations that you can store information in. Uh, that's another difference. The Intec has 10 uh, sets of memory locations. Uh, what you would do here is uh, we would come in and highlight the uh, two sets of test results that I wanted to document. And by highlight, you just hold down for a second and it grays it out like that. Um, and then we'd hit this uh, email button, uh, select PDF file, and there we go. Now you can see here, now we have two sets of test results. Um, and also in the uh, comment section, you can read that, <laughs> also in the comment section, uh, it says the first column is the new condensing unit, uh, the second column is the old uh, um, an old piece of equipment and you'd be looking at a you know difference in a 400 degree stack temperature decrease uh, efficiency uh, uh, goes up uh, substantially um, uh, it just provides that kind of documentation uh, to show that the customer is getting the efficiency that they're expecting um, and keep in mind also that you can have up to five different columns you can have five different sets of test results so let's say i've got a, a, a huge home uh, that's got three furnaces and two water heaters it would be very easy to come in and document all five of those appliances on just one piece of paper one pdf file or let's say i've got a big uh, commercial modulating boiler uh, I would be able to um, document different uh, points in the firing rate as it ramped to high fire and then back down. Um, I would be able to document different uh, firing rates, um, uh, just uh, whatever we were trying to document. But the important thing is, the first thing I missed when I first started using the app was that comment section. Um, if you don't enter in a comment, and you hit save, then it's going to go ahead and save it without any sort of a reference uh, uh, to what column that set of test results is from. 
And finally, one real critical piece of the picture here is getting back out of the uh, QR code. Real simple, just a matter of hitting the scroll left button um, and you're back to the main screen. So I hope this little tutorial has been helpful. Uh, again, I think it's one of the neatest um, things that Backrack uh, has come up with. Actually, they've got a lot of pretty unique features on these on this current line of instruments. Uh, but I, th I think the reporting app uh, is very impressive. So uh, stay in touch. If you have any comments, put them uh, below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.